you're not farming unless you break something all right let's just get that straight well hello everyone and welcome back to the farm we're very happy to have you as part of our extended family and part of our farm we've uh i've got a few things to get done today yeah i wasn't talking to you uh first off i gotta get in here and get fans plugged up one of the problems that we have and been trying to figure for a while how to fix this problem without having to do some more major electrical work but one problem we have is the plug-in for this fan is awful low and lambs are very curious so they wind up playing with this plug and unplugging the fan. Spare move. Because it is hot. It is turned off. Very hot. I like it when you can mark things off the list like that. Yeah. That one wasn't very involved either. <laughs> But what I originally came down for is it is time to move the cattle to the bottom part of the field. And uh, before I do that, though, I've heard a lot of people commenting in our area that they've had some early, early, early pop-up of uh, mint wheat. Mint wheat is highly toxic to livestock of all kinds. So I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hook up the bush hog because I needed to bush hog that bottom anyway. But I forgot to get diesel yesterday, so there's only so much I'm going to be able to do. But I'm going to hook up the bush hog just in case there is some mint weed popping up down there. Get it knocked down, uh, get that taken care of, and then get ready so that this evening when I feed, I'll be able to move the cattle to, uh, to the bottom field. Then I'll uh, adjust the pickup on the third arm right there because you see how it's sloped down. So. Alright. Yo cover down. Alright, that looks pretty good. Much better. See? More level. That's what I want. Well this area at the creek was the place that we had never had trouble with mint weed until last year and it just blew up out of nowhere and just took over as you can see there's quite a few young plants right here that mint leaf it's a mistake to get back here because it loves the shaded spots and as you can tell this is one of their favorite places to lay because honestly it's nice and cool right here. Not too bad. A couple of passes with the bush hog. I should be able to get this under control. Ooh. 
Are you okay? Dang. But uh, I'm glad you're okay. I thought I'd permanently lost you. But my, uh, unfortunately, my uh, camera holder is not so good shape. Great. Let's break. You're not farming unless you break something. All right. Let's just get that straight. Well, I was looking at this field. Yeah, I'm having to hold the camera in my hand. I was looking at this field and it's actually not as bad as I thought. So I may be able to do this in a higher gear and conserve a little bit of fuel without having to go so slow at that high RPM because they have pretty much ate down most of the fescue on this section uh, before it matured. So I don't have a whole lot out there that's drooping over and keeping those grasses underneath from coming up. If you look across the field this way, you see a lot of the Bermudas and other grasses that are coming up pretty well. The main part of it is over there in that corner up there is where a lot of the uh, dead fescue is because it's furthest away from the shade. Well, with our bush hogging done for the day, we're going to get the bush hog unhooked and uh, get the water tank hooked back up. Well, and just like that, we're done. Got the cows moved. Really didn't want Joe to move because she's not feeling real well. And so I wanted to keep her separate and give her some extra feed and stuff like that. But of course, she wouldn't have that. All right. Well, just got home. Time to get down here and get busy. I've got bush hogging I still need to get done. Yeah, still have about three pastures to finish up on that. We're going to have to move the sheep girls real soon back to the back pasture. And uh, so I need to get ready for that. I also have another cow that's not feeling well. Uh, Roxy, that was limping, is doing a hundred times better. She's fine. She's doing good, eating good. But Joe is uh, 
I don't know what's wrong with her. She's just kind of depressed. Her appetite is bad off. Uh, just kind of moping around, not eating. She's just not doing much of anything. And uh, I've tried to check for signs of pneumonia. I've checked uh, her breathing uh, seems to be good. There's no snotty nose. There's no, I, I don't know what's going on with her. I gotta get started bush hogging. I got about 45 minutes done. Still got about an hour or so to go. It's not too late when we finish up. I may go ahead and hook the bush hog back up and uh, bush hog for a while this evening. Because actually, believe it or not, your previous tracks are actually a lot easier to see to me at night under the headlights than they are during the day. Happy Father's Day to you. It's, uh, well, the weather has definitely changed over the last few days. We went from getting, oh, inches of rain every couple days to I don't think it's rained in almost a week now. So, it's getting dry. The garden's doing well, pardon the weeds and everything, but we've already harvested several cucumbers. Um... The zucchini are just not doing like they usually do, and that's usually one thing that we don't have any trouble growing is zucchini. We can have zucchini by the tons, but unfortunately, I uh, had some issues with them, and I don't know if it's because we've had so much rain and there's not been much sunlight uh, to, for those blooms to open, and I don't know. But those are, those are struggling a little bit, but the tomatoes are doing good. Plants are doing well. Several groupings of tomatoes on those. Potatoes, yeah, there's some potatoes in that mess over there. There's also potatoes in that bag back there. Vines are growing like crazy. Hopefully we have something more than vines. Uh, strawberries have done well this year. We've gotten several strawberries out of there. And uh, peppers are coming on, so everything's looking pretty good. Yeah, it was one of those things that we had so much rain that, you know, there was a lot of prep work that we wanted to do in the garden. But it was raining so much every other day, just pouring rain. And uh, didn't get a lot of the prep work done. So when we finally got a little bit of dry time, we just had to do the best we could do. So, uh, update on Joe. She's doing better. We were finally able to get her a good dose of antibiotics. And uh, she seems to be improving as of last night. So hopefully her improvement will continue and we can uh, get her back up on her feet. Well, she's on her feet, she's just, yeah. Anyway, well, the heat index yesterday while I was on the bush hog was 101, I think it was. So, yeah, quite a bit of difference in weather. It is turned off hot and dry. Finished this pasture yesterday, right back here. It's coming on, we got the, most of the of the old dead fescue down there's a lot of good growth coming up underneath not so much right in here it's hard to see right here because there used to be an old road you can see where the dead grass is right through there an old road bed that uh, runs through here looking good girls will be going on that today come down and see about joe they're all on the creek side down here. There's Jet. You don't blame them. Because when that breeze blows, water right over 
right over there there's a creek and uh, it actually feels pretty good in here jet Roxy one bull calf that's uh, Jacole's yeah that's Jacole's bull calf that's Jet's bull calf you can tell by the white stockings on the back feet watch out don't kick Layla and her bull calf which will the bull calves are fixing to go to the sale except for jets Joe is here she's still not on top of the band but she's functioning say hi jet Say hi to him. Who's that pretty cat? Hmm? Who's that pretty cat? Is that my jet? Hmm? No jet. You help me up, jet? Huh? She has to help me up. You help me up? Huh? <clears throat> okay, well, I checked on Joe. She's content to be where she's at. I'll check on her again this evening when I feed and water. It's about time to get them moved off this bottom field. I don't know how that's going to work with her. She's still in that herd animal mode. Everybody else goes back out and she wants to too. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get this dose to her before. Oh, there she goes. Well. Had to catch her quick this evening, so I've got it drawn up for the first part of it drawn up anyway. Is that good water? Hmm? I'll fill it up for you. Let me get this tank full for her. I'll see you a little bit. I would love to go ahead and get her a dose of antibiotics, but she uh, really wanted to drink. Which I'm okay with that, because she got up, she came out here. She ain't ventured very far, but she's she's still droopy. But she's still coming to the water tanks. She's weak, but she's uh, slowly improving. Now if we can just keep it going, we go ahead and get her another dose of antibiotics. Even though it's about 24 hours before it should be done. Uh, just to keep her under that coverage so it gives absolutely no ground where she's not under that uh, antibiotic coverage so I'm making her nervous so I'm gonna go back up toward the house and this is where we'll start our next chapter